Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be exploring Cash App founder Bob Lee's death. So sit back, relax, and let's dive into the topic together. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss a video. And if you enjoy today's content, please give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment below. Your support means everything to me, and it helps me create more great content in the future. Without further ado, let's get started. Cash App founder Bob Lee killed in planned attack after argument involving suspect's sister. High-profile tech entrepreneur and Cash App founder Bob Lee was stabbed three times with a kitchen knife and slowly left to die on a San Francisco street in the early hours of April 4, allegedly at the hands of a tech executive who was angry at Lee's relationship with his sister. Police arrested his colleague Nama Momini on April 13 in connection with the murder. So what's the story behind Bob Lee's death? In today's video, I will about the seemingly planned attack that killed Bob Lee. Let's begin. Who was Bob Lee? Bob Lee was a popular member of the San Francisco tech community, where he was affectionately called Crazy Bob. He attended St. Louis University in Missouri, where he also worked as an open source code developer. In 2004, Lee moved to San Francisco in his early 20s to work as an engineer at Google where he and his team developed the first Android app. Lee was poached by Square and became its 13th employee, where he helped launch Cash App and became the payments company's first chief technology officer in 2011. He left Square in 2014 and invested in several tech startups, including Beeper, Clubhouse, Fair, and Present, which is a women-focused social media and networking company. He identified himself as a stay-at-home dad in an online blog post during this time. In 2021, Lee joined MobileCoin, a crypto payment company, as chief product officer. Who knew life would not allow him to explore more in his career? What happened to Bob Lee? The San Francisco Police Department said in a statement that 43-year-old Bob Lee, with three life-threatening stab wounds to the chest, was found at 2.35 a.m. outside a luxury high-rise apartment on the 300 block of Main Street, near Rincon Hill and the Bay Bridge in downtown San Francisco, one block from Google's San Francisco headquarters. At 3.30 p.m. on April 3, a close friend of Lee's met him at an apartment on Mission Street, where Lee was dating Momini's sister, the friend said in court records. Lee told the boyfriend that they were leaving and invited Momini's sister to go with them, but she refused. Lee and his friends went to his hotel room at One Hotel San Francisco, where Lee had a conversation with Momini about his younger sister and how Momini picked her up from the apartment on Mission Street. According to the friend, Momini questioned Lee if his sister had taken drugs or something inappropriate, and Lee assured him that nothing of the kind had happened. Lee went to another apartment with his friend where they hung out until Lee left late at 12.30 a.m. Lee's friend then called Momini's sister to check if Lee had gone to her apartment in the Millennium Tower. She told him that Lee was there, but she fell asleep and didn't know when he left. The San Francisco Police Department retrieved surveillance video from the Millennium Tower, which showed a white BMW arriving at the property at 8.31 p.m. from which Momini got out and entered the apartment. At around 12.39 a.m., Lee arrived and also entered the apartment. The video shows the couple leaving the apartment at 2.3 a.m. Surveillance footage showed that the BMW drove into a dark area on Main Street and parked there. Two people enter the picture, one in dark clothes and one in a light top. After five minutes of standing, the person in the upper part of the light suddenly moves towards the other person. Subsequently, the two separate and the person in the dark clothes stumbles away injured. The guy in the light-colored top then quickly walked south on the sidewalk, got into the BMW, and sped away. According to an autopsy, Lee was stabbed once in the hip and twice in the chest, with one of the wounds directly reaching his heart. First responders attended to him on the spot before he was taken to the hospital, where he succumbed to his injuries. During the investigation, police found a kitchen knife with blood on it in a parking lot near the sidewalk, which could be seen in the surveillance video. The incident left people wondering. Lee's friend and MNA fighter Jake Shields tweeted that Lee was apparently the victim of a random robbery in the good part of town, which was definitely not the case. 
The tweet caught the attention of Twitter CEO Elon Musk, who offered his condolences and urged San Francisco Attorney General Brooke Jenkins to crack down on violent criminals. Arrest of the first suspect. On April 13, it was reported that San Francisco police had arrested tech executive Nama Momini in connection with the fatal stabbing of Bob Lee. Momini was sent to the San Francisco Sheriff's Jail. Momini, 38, allegedly stabbed the 43-year-old after being involved in an altercation early April 4, while driving in the Rincon Hill area of San Francisco. Momini and Lee were in the same group of friends, but they didn't know each other very well. Momini owned a company called Expand IT, which he ran out of Emeryville, where he was arrested. San Francisco Police Chief William Scott confirmed that Momini had been charged with murder and aggravation for using a lethal or dangerous weapon. If convicted, Momini would face 26 years of life imprisonment. He appeared in court for the first time on 14 April. The case sparked a strong debate about public safety in the city. A crowd of reporters crowded into the courtroom as the suspect's sister, Kayser Momini, attended the hearing with her husband and three other family members. Momini's indictment was originally scheduled to take place on 14 April, but has now been postponed to April 25. Paula Canny, sister of Momini's previous lawyer, will represent him for the remainder of the proceedings. He did not speak anything in his defense in court except, yes, your honor, when asked if he agreed to deny his right to a speedy trial. The facts about what happened that night will come out over time. Till then, Momini is to remain in custody without bail. Lee's plea for help was ignored. What's more shocking about this case is that when Lee wanted help, nobody stepped in to help him. Surveillance footage appears to capture Lee approaching a parked car, clutching one side of his body and bleeding profusely from stab wounds. He lifts his shirt to show the driver the extent of his injuries, but instead of helping, the motorist speeds away. Those last tragic moments, when he stumbled down Main Street in downtown San Francisco in search of help, were captured on CCTV. The footage did not capture the stabbing but shows Lee walking down an abandoned sidewalk on the main street with his cell phone in one hand and holding on to his side with the other. Then he crossed the intersection with Harrison Street and went to a white Toyota Camry with flashing lights that was parked there. It could be seen in the video that Lee lifted his shirt to ask for help and then fell to the ground as the driver drove away in panic. He then gets back on his feet and begins to retrace his steps along Main Street towards the Bay Bridge before collapsing again in front of the Portside apartment building at 403 Main Street. Lee's family grieves his loss. Bob Lee's grieving father, Rick Lee, described the murdered tech mogul as his best friend in a recent Facebook post. He wrote that they both had lived together in Mill Valley, California since Lee's mother died in 2019. They then moved to Miami in October last year. Rick Lee wrote that Bob would give you the shirt from his back. He adhered to his strict philosophy of non-judgment and never looked down on anyone. He also wrote that life with two bachelors living together had been an adventure and that the couple had grown close together in recent years. Bob worked harder than anyone else and was the smartest person he's ever known. Everyone who knew Bob will miss him. Bob Lee's brother Tim wrote in a separate post that he was saddened and discouraged by the senseless killing. Lee reportedly separated from his wife Krista in 2019, and they have two daughters who won't be able to see their father again. So, these were all the details of the planned attack that killed Bob Lee. I'll keep you updated about any further progression in the case. Hopefully, the hearing scheduled on 25 April will make things clearer, and will step ahead toward justice for Bob Lee. If you found this case story compelling, don't forget to like the video and comment below with your take on it. Subscribe to the channel for more similar videos and hit the bell icon to stay up to date each time we reveal a new shocking case. Until next time, stay safe. You never know what's lurking in the shadows.